Well, it's not gonna be too bad today. We just got a few hours. I think we've about got this thing whipped. Roger missed a tree. It's a good thing he's got me to babysit him. That's what I tell him all the time. He thinks it's the other way around, but I know better, Roger. Roger? Oh, ran me right in the butt. Just <laughs> ran right through that thing. Oh yeah. But Roger forgot to cut a tree yesterday. Uh, so we got the saw, we're gonna have to hand cut one. And then we'll have all the cutting done. Oh, Stevie's already throwing his shoulders in. See, Stevie's job seat is gonna be throwing these shoulders in that have been pushed up by the tires because they have to finish this off smooth slick him off and he's got to be done this evening because the rain's coming in the morning and my little nephew well he ain't little my nephew big boy uh just just tall big boy uh and i'm very proud of him ethan you and brown i'm very proud of you guys but they're getting married this weekend to, 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 today so I got to be out of the woods. I got to be headed that way by 1.30ish or something of that nature. So I don't have a full day in me, but we only got like two hours back here and they'll be coming out and Stevie be throwing a road in and Roger could run stuff back and forth and do some finishing with a skidder and stuff like that. And Big Daddy's coming to Dozer to do some finishing. So <clears throat> they're going to whoop it pretty easy and I'm gonna actually be trucking logs today once I get all this done oh we got this little wagon train Stevie's a conductor up there and we're the caboose and Roger Roger's a middleman <laughs> keep it up Roger he's on thin ice you don't even know it scared he, he looks terrified in there see if he looks terrified in there Yep, he looks scared to me. Back to the old school. Cause Roger's got the forgetsies. And no, I still ain't fixed my timing on this thing. I think we'll be good to go. And I've got it wrote down in my, I got like a, Oh, a projects list, I keep going. That's one of my projects. It still ain't got done. So my poor chainsaw, still sucking hot tit. I'll finally get the job done. Well, the good news is Brutus had it halfway cut. <laughs> Brutus just needs to learn to finish what he, what he starts. Brutus, <clears throat> if he's got it aimed about right, I'll just follow his lead. And it looks close enough for the girls we go with. No, it ain't neither. And he's go over to the left more. But this was the last tree I cut before I looked, took my saw apart and seen that the coil, the pickup coil, had no bolts in it. The coil was just setting in the cavity. So it's a miracle this thing even runs. <laughs> But that's what's going on with this thing. The, the coil is not even bolted in it. It's just sitting there. And I guess the, but Roger said that he's seen that happen before. The magnet in the coil will actually draw the coil back to the flywheel. And, and it will actually run. It just runs like crap.
make it. It's just barely going to make it, but I believe it is. I'm starting to bust out on this upper side. But they basically got a pile of wood in here, and I'm just kind of crawling over the top of it to try to hold the water back. They can't hardly get in and out. We're pulling them in. We're doing all kinds of funky stuff. It's just, we're just barely a going. We got enough dry on top we can work with, but the ground is just soft as all get out. Now look at that whoop section down here. That's what I'm talking about. See what I mean? You just get the humping going. And it'll finally get all the way through there. It just keeps adding to the rhythm. The farther you go, the longer you let it go. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. It's kind of like washboard in a gravel hill. It's the same kind of concept. Not exactly, because in washboard, you got hard ground, you're actually spinning gravel on top. And this here, you're pumping mud from underneath. With that same rocking motion is what's making the pumping. But this field, like Stevie can lock his four-wheel drive pickup and four-wheel drive, and he can barely get through it. That's how soft it is, but tiny ain't a problem. It's pulling out pretty good sized loads now and making it. Stevie's kind of, we're at the end of this, Stevie's kind of raising up the load, uh, the load weights because he's figuring we're going to push through and get this knocked out real quick so they can start getting this finish work, getting these sides pulled in and getting this thing slicked off this evening. Number one priority is getting this baby slicked off. Because when it rains tonight, this ground has to be done. It has to be all put back where it belongs, all the drainage and the BMPs done to where you're controlling water quality, and then butter back up. And Roger, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a chestnut oak here on the way in that's uh, a mystery. It's been cut, and I think you can skid it out, but you'll have to, uh, I don't know, maybe skid it towards Stevie. It's up here by this soft spot. Look at it. What we done there is we had them trees stacked up where Roger's at. We logged back here in the back and Stevie was spun around. We pulled all the wood up to him. Now he's flipped the yard around backwards and Roger's plucking these up to him. 
you can see the plan. I'll sit tight till you tell me to come in. get in the bush with these tires this don't have forestry tires on it so you kind of gotta be careful with the tires they can puncture easier than the forestry tires we've got along pretty good with them we had a cedar style get us one time uh, which was just it would have got a skitter too if it skitter weighed as much as this truck does but all in all we've had pretty good luck out of these tires
this is my last load i'm under tom crunch it's my last load of getting out here and uh that was uh i hauled the logs out dumped them out and now i'm hauling stevie's rack out and dumping it out there where him and derek's gonna start after the rain loading pulpwood out because we'll have to bail out all this pulpwood we've accumulated now and uh i'm gonna park tiny out of the way here and uh Chris backed in to get loaded, so I'm gonna shove him out with the skitter, and then I got to get out of here. So I'm getting ready to shut this thing down. Hope everybody liked this one. Uh, leave me comments and stuff, and let me know what you think of everything. If you don't care to help make these veggies better for you guys in the future, um, and uh, let me know what you think about them angles and stuff. And what about tiny? What do you think about the ground speed on that thing? I just love. Now, you know, it's extra moving parts and it has got suspension and all that stuff, but with what it does and no more than it runs, it really does a good job of really moving a lot of weight forward on the job side. So, just let me know. Everybody have a good one later on and don't forget to smile.